Claudia Contreras is happy to be living in Sydney, but she still misses family and friends back in Honduras. Contreras and her family made the move to Canada two years ago. My husband and I were um, looking for a place to move because we were thinking about the future of our family. Um, our country is a beautiful country. We have beautiful places, um, but sometimes we can't, we, our country is unsafe. Claudia and her sons are now part of a growing trend in Cape Breton. According to data from the Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education, the number of students identifying as newcomers is eight to ten times higher than in the previous four years. Twelve-year-old Claudio Flores says their early days in Canada were a challenge. The f first days, like the first week, was really hard because my English was pretty bad, my pronunciation was pretty bad, but now it's like I've improved a lot. Both Claudio and his older brother are among the nearly 700 newcomer students now enrolled in the Sydney area school system. Another 180 newcomers in grades primary to 12 are spread throughout the rest of the island. Those figures do not include students coming to Canada as part of a cultural exchange program. 17-year-old Victor Flores says more could be done to help foreign students fit in. So I think that should change, like try to involve people more in like school activities and like let them know that they're here for a reason and like they can be part of the school. The Cape Breton Partnership is an organization supporting immigrants on the island. Children are, are coming along with parents who may be studying at CBU. That's definitely one part of the trend. But overall, in the CBRM, we know that numbers of permanent residents are, are increasing each year. And, uh, and along with that increase goes the, the numbers of, uh, of students who are entering the public school system. Claudia's family is also part of a growing Latin American community in Cape Breton. Their group is nearing 200 people who meet regularly for holidays and other cultural events. Claudia says there's also challenges to living in Cape Breton, such as its lack of housing and employment. But she says the good outweighs the bad. In Canada, it's more than snow, it's more than winter. Canada has a lot of things um, to do here. Canada has a lot of benefit for migrants too. And really, really, I like this place. While Pedley says more newcomers are putting down roots on the island, it's difficult to know whether or not families will decide to stay forever. Erin Potty, CBC News, Sydney.